Kevin's card collecting and more. First in the live. First in the live chat. Good morning here, Kevin. Hopefully you're having a good start to your Friday. Hopefully everybody is rip-roaring and ready to go. I see Candace Henry and Cardinals fan 1990. We're on a little bit earlier before I went live. But appreciate that. Cardinals fan 1990, how are you doing? Thanks for popping into the stream here. If you're not on Cardinals fan 1990, make sure you hop on board his bus. All right, let me get a few things adjusted here real quick. I think I've got my computer good to go. That's usually always up to snuff. But we are going to have a great day today. It is Friday. For most people, it's a TGIF kind of day. Mine, I do TGIS. Thank God it's Saturday. Tomorrow Tomorrow will be the last day of my live streams for the week. Then I take Sunday, Monday off and come back. I am subbed. All right. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure I... Have you on board my bus there, Cardinals Fan 1990? As long as you've uh, liked, commented, and subscribed to my channel and left a comment on one of my videos, then I will know that we were hooked up the right way and I'll double check and make sure that I, I have done the same to your channel and got on board your bus. As soon as I see that comment on one of my videos, I respond to all my comments on all my videos in my channel and then if it looks like a new name I double check at that time and make sure that you are on my bus and I am on your bus so that's how my channel rolls at least Robert Hone Robert's in the house we're in trouble whenever Robert shows up just kidding Robert <laughs> nice to have you with us from Texas there Robert and Kevin from Las Vegas dun 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 so we have two orders of business today. We have the 1966 Hall of Fame inductees that are on the screen for you right now. Casey Stengel and Ted Williams. Those are our two Hall of Fame inductees for 1967. The wheels on the bus go round and round. That's right. Matter of fact, I need to get Kevin added onto my wheel of names. For the entrant for today, for today's stream, as soon as my computator checks up to me. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I knew I could always count on getting a comment from Robert. Ted Williams and Tony Gwynn were very good friends. Well, that's awesome to know. Cardinals fan 1990, I live in Florida. We're at in Florida. There are Cardinals fan 1990. My son lives in Pensacola. In case you're wondering. And uh, let's see. My computator is giving me a hard time. So let me, I got to do a refresh on my wheel of names. I think it's just hung up for some reason. There we go. All right. Let me get down to the bottom of my list here and add uh, Kevin's card collecting in for an additional entry into my wheel of names and save the file. Ted Williams was from San Diego. But you're probably going to say that later. <laughs> I did not know that, Kevin. I did not know Ted Williams was from San Diego. <laughs> that is uh, that is nice to know, though. Does he still live there in San Diego or was from San Diego? Uh, I forgot. I didn't pay attention to the past tense there. <laughs> so... So yeah, right in about four minutes, we will get into our content at hand, going over the Hall of Fame inductions for Casey Stengel and Ted Williams. And then after that, we will be finishing the top 
2020 Tops Opening Day Box, number one, part two. So yesterday I went through the first half of the box, and the only thing, the only big hit that we got was this Bernie, Bernie Brewer's autographed, uh, autograph card here. So that was pretty cool there. And uh, as far as the mascot autograph cards, the only ones you can get out of the mascot autograph card set is only, uh, there's only seven autographed uh, types of cards. And that's Bernie Brewer, um, Clark, Freebird, Mr. Met, Raymond, Slugger, and Wally the Green Monster. Okay, Clark is from the Chicago Cubs. St. Louis Cardinals, Fred Bird. Mr. Met from the New York Mets. Raymond from the Tampa Bay Rays. And Slugger from the Kansas City Royals. And Wally the Green Monster from the Boston Red Sox. So that is our notable hit so far in the first half of the box. And we've got about two more minutes here before showtime. Then we will get into our 1966 Hall of Fame inductees video series. Thanks, one of the great grandchildren hits. I love, I live in oh, Daytona Beach, Florida. Thanks there, Cardinals. Fan 1990, Aaron Kinski. How you doing, Aaron? Nice to have you in the screen. Candace, Candace Henry says, hi again. Yeah, I saw you were in earlier, Candace, when I did a refresh and stuff. For some reason, your earlier comment went away. But just to give you a heads up, um, yesterday I kind of gave you a free entry. But the the actual um, first in the live chat is when I hit the button to actually go live. And then whoever shows up after the actual live event starts, not when it's scheduled, but when it starts... That's when you get the free entry if you're the first in the live chat. And unfortunately, today, Kevin was the one that made it into the live chat. Okay? But I do appreciate you showing up early. I do get people that do that once in a while. Sometimes it's happened even the night before. They, they pop into the chat thinking, oh, okay, he's scheduled it live, so I'll get my entry in. It, it has to happen when I actually go live. So just a little heads up on that. Yesterday I did give you a bonus entry there, Candace, for being the first early bird. <laughs> Down the road I might do early birds. Um, but for now, it's, that's the way I originally announced it would be... Um, what do you mean, unfortunately? <laughs> no, Kevin, you you are the one that made it into the live chat first today. Don't start crying on me there, Kevin. <laughs> or are you just messing with uh, with Robert there? The babies on the bus go wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so we've got 1030 on my official uh, live clock here. And we are going to get read, ready to get into... Um, Oh, there you go, Kevin. Uh, Cardinals fan 1990 uh, says he likes NASCAR. So you and Kevin do have something in common there, Cardinals fan 1990. Kevin's not a big NASCAR uh, collector for cards, but he does get NASCAR cards and does them on his channel on occasions. So without further ado, though, Stevens Cards is in the house. How you doing there, Steven? Nice to have you popping in the stream here, but we are going to get into our part one of part two, if that makes sense. The first part of our stream, and that will be going over the uh, Hall of Fame inductees that we have on the docket for today for 1966, and that is Casey Stengel and Ted Williams. We're going to start out with Casey Stengel here, go over his Hall of Fame induction uh, information. So Casey Stengel. Let me do a refresh here. So I know. Oh, laugh out loud. You told Candace that unfortunately Kevin beat you in the live chat. 
<laughs> laugh out loud all good okay understand there all right so i got my got my refresh so i got my marker for the for the live chat here so casey stangle charles dylan stangle inducted into the hall of fame in 1966 his primary team was the new york yankees and he was a manager for the yankees Casey Stengel knew his baseball. He only made it look like he was fooling around. He knew every move that was ever invented and some that we haven't even caught on to yet, said Sparky Anderson. Casey Stengel's 54 distinguished years in baseball spanned everything from the dead ball era to Mickey Mantle's booming home runs. Through it all, Stengel's colorful personality and instantly quotable remarks made him one of baseball's most beloved characters. All right. So Stengel's first major league season as a player began in 1913 as the first Brooklyn player to bat and subsequently Homer in Ebbets Field. After nine big league seasons in Brooklyn, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia, Stengel was traded to the New York Giants midway through the 1921 season. The youngest player was already gaining attention for his zany antics on the diamond. So Stengel is a dandy ball player, but it's all from the neck down, remarked scout Mike Cahoe. The Kansas City native found a home at the Polo Grounds when he became Hall of Famer manager John McGraw's protege and unofficial assistant coach from 1922 to 1923. Stengel hit 355 as a platoon outfielder with the Giants and homered in Game 1 of the 1923 World Series. Stengel hit another home run in Game 3 and thumbed his nose at the New York Yankees bench while rounding third base. Baseball commissioner Kenshaw Mountain Landis was in attendance that day and promptly fined Stengel for his antics. Casey Stengel's just can't help being Casey Stengel, Landis lamented. So after two more seasons in the majors, Stengel spent several seasons managing in the minor leagues. This included a memorable moment when Stengel released himself as a player, fired himself as a manager, and resigned as owner of the Boston's minor league Worcester Affiliate Club to manage Triple A Toledo. Stengel eventually earned a big league shot as a manager of the Dodgers in 1934 to 1936 and the Boston Braves in 1938 to 1943. With middling success, I became a major league manager in several cities and was discharged. Stengel later recalled, we call it discharge because there is no question I had to leave. Finally, in 1949, Stengel got a call from Yankees Hall of Fame owner George Weiss to lead a team loaded with talent. There was less wrong with this team than any team I have ever managed, Stengel said, featuring stars like Yogi Berra, Joe DiMaggio, Phil Rizzuto, and a young Mickey Mantle. Stengel's Yankees found immediate success and became the first team to win five consecutive World Series championships from 1949 to 1953. Stengel is often credited with reviving the practice of platooning his players when he took over a pinstripes the pinstripes a tactic learned from McGraw during his days with the Giants when asked to divulge his managerial strategy Stengel deadpanned keep the five guys who hate you away from the five who are undecided let me pop in the chat real quick Hey, Cardinals fan, 1990, good race at Darlington on Wednesday. That's that's a swell-looking card. <laughs> Thanks there, Kevin. Swell. Pardon the pun with the brand name for the card. <laughs> swell. You don't see many of those these days. Um, Bandits World. There we go. Baseball card collecting is one of the most fun things I've done in my 12 years of life. All right there, Bandits World. That's Awful cute of you. All right. <clears throat> and then Cardinals fan 1990 says, My name is Ryan Doherty. There we go. All right. Let me do a refresh here so I know I've caught up to the chat. 
up to that point. Let's finish off here. Casey Stengel as our first Hall of Famer for 1966. So while his team hogged the baseball spotlight, Stengel took the opportunity to expand his repertoire of odd sayings that would later be affectionately dubbed Stengelese. His famous sayings included everything from the obvious, you got to get 27 outs to win, to the head scratchers, there comes a time in every man's life, and I've had plenty of them. The Yankees fired Stengel following a loss in the 1960 World Series, citing Stengel's advancing age. Two years later, Stengel returned to the Big Apple to manage the expansion Mets and captured the hearts of New Yorkers all over again. Celebrated by baseball's lovable losers, the Mets lost 404 games in Stengel's three and a half years at the helm prompting the old skipper to ask, can't anybody here play this game? Stengel finally retired in 1965 with seven World Series titles, tied with fellow Yankees manager Joe McCarthy for the most all-time. A year later, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Right? It is fashionable to say that successful people in any field could have been whatever they wanted, wrote Mickey Hershowitz in the Houston Post, but you could not picture Casey Stengel being anything else but what he was, the greatest showman baseball ever knew. So he was meant to be enjoyed, to be shared, and to appre- to be appreciated, said Mickey Hershowitz. Goetz of the Houston Post. So then for his some of his career stats and his career at a glance, he when he was playing baseball, he played in 3,766 games. Oh no, this this looks like it's actually his stats as a manager, which is where he spent most of his time in the major leagues outside of his playing career. But we'll go over what teams he played for in just a minute here. So he managed 3,766 games with 1,905 wins and 1,842 losses with a winning percentage of 508. So when he did play, his primary team was with the New York Yankees as a manager. Sorry. When he was playing baseball, he batted left and threw left. All right, and he played for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1912 to 1917, the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1918 to 1919, 1920 to 21 with the Philadelphia Phillies. Then he played with the New York Giants from 1921 to 1923, and he played for the Boston Braves in 1924 and 1925. Didn't Lombardi once hold up a football in the locker room during a halftime and was so mad that said, gentlemen, this is a football. (laughs) Oh, boy. All right. And then when he did manage uh, the ball teams, he managed the Brooklyn Dodgers from 1934 to 1936, the Boston Braves from 1938 to 43. And then the Yankees from 1946 to 1960, and the New York Mets from 1962 to 1965. So there we have it. Casey Stengel inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1966. All right, let me catch up with the chat here real quick. And then it says... In the chat, does anyone around here know how to play this game? Casey Stengel to the 1962 Mets. <laughs> uh, Robert didn't lumber. Da, 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 and Robert, I believe so. Okay. That's just Robert throwing in some stats in the chat here. Let me refresh the chat and get into now Ted Williams for our second and final inductee in there was only these two players and the 1966 induction ceremony in Cooperstown so the second and final inductee is Ted Williams Theodore Samuel 
Williams, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1966. His primary team was the Boston Red Sox, and he was <clears throat> a left fielder. Let me get a sip of water here real quick. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to, had to wet my whistle. So we can continue on with our history lesson here. All right, don't forget to mention Tony Gwynn. Okay, yeah. Kevin told me that uh, Tony Gwynn and Ted Williams were good friends. I'll add that in at the beginning of uh, my my induction here so that everybody knows that Tony Gwynn and Ted Williams were good friends. They were besties. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. NASCAR 9012. How are you doing there, NASCAR? Have not seen you in a while. Thanks for popping into the chat with us. Appreciate you. All right. So Ted Williams always knew what he wanted. Others could debate who was the best all-around player in baseball. Williams was a hitter. All I want out of life is that when I walk down the street, folks will say, there goes the greatest hitter that ever lived, Williams said. His accomplished goal... He accomplished his goal. Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron may have been better power hitters. You could argue that the graceful Joe DiMaggio or Willie Mays was a better all-around player. If you're talking about the greatest hitter that ever stepped into the batter's box, the discussion begins with the longtime Red Sox left fielder. Williams wrote the book on hitting. His The Science of Hitting disproves the, advan the adage that great hitters can't teach hitting. All right. <laughs> Barely waking up. NASCAR must have just woke up. Must have had a rough night last night. And Kevin's saying, thank you, Donald. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Being busy a lot. That's good. Sometimes it's good to be busy there, NASCAR. Um, there, uh, hi, NASCAR 9012. Hey, Cardinals man. All right. Let me refresh my chat so I know where I left off. All right, so he won six batting titles, but that doesn't really explain his mastery at the plate. Thanks to an excellent batting eye, Williams led the American League on baseball percentage seven straight years and 12 times overall. His 482 career on base percentage is the best of all time. Um, he wasn't just doing it with walks and singles. Ted led the American League in home runs four times, and his 634 career slugging percentage is second only to Ruth. He did all of it despite missing most of five seasons due to military service. He learned to fly fighter planes during World War II, working as an instructor from 1943 to 1945. He was recalled to duty in 1952 during the height of the Korean War and served in Korea for more than a year, flying combat missions in a Marine fighter jet. That missed time explains why the game's greatest hitter didn't reach 3,000 hits. After missing the All-Star game as a rookie, Williams was an All-Star in every non-military interrupted, interrupted season of the rest of his career. He wasn't just being grandfathered in. His final season, 1960, as a 41-year-old, he hit 316 with 29 home runs. His body may have been failing him, but his ability to hit never left. <clears throat> All right. Oh, that's not too bad there, NASCAR. You went to bed at 12 a.m. yesterday. Well, that's midnight. Uh, I think I didn't go to bed till about 12.45 a.m. But that is cool. <clears throat> no, Robert says, no jokes. Ted Williams was... The great greatest hitter in baseball, no objections accepted. <laughs> All right there, Robert, that's cool. All right. So Williams's goal was never to be b beloved. He took his hitting into the outfield early in his career. He'd practice swings between pitches. Those kind of quirks and some signs of defensive indifference didn't always endear him to Red Sox fans. His relationship with the Boston community wasn't helped 
by a long-running feud between Williams and much of the Boston media. The newspaper men didn't make Williams' life any easier, but Williams didn't help himself with his legendary stubbornness. The same personality that ensured he could remember a pitch that struck him out three months before was that not going to forget any slights inflicted by the hostile press. After his retirement, the memories of his difficulties with fans slowly retreated, while the memories of his amazing career and his honorable military service became more and more prominent. By the time he threw out the first pitch for the 1999 All-Star Game, he was revered as a baseball treasure, as the game's best current players mobbed Williams to touch and talk to the game's biggest star. Williams was a Ty Cobb as far as being an intelligent batter. He wouldn't hit a, at a bad ball, and he'd walk to talk about hit, was hitting, said Ted Loins. Okay. All right, so as far as his uh, career stats and career at a glance, he played in 2,292 games, 7,706 at-bats, scoring 1,798 runs. He hit 2,652 times. He got 525 doubles, 71 triples, and 521 home runs. Not bad for having uh, had breaks in service during the war. Um, and then 1,839 RBIs. He had 24 stolen bases. They walked him 2,021 times, probably because of his slugging percentage. Uh, batting average of 344, an OPS of 1.116, an on-base percentage of 482, and a slugging percentage of 634. So, um, Ted Williams did die in 2002 in Inverness, Florida. He played for the Boston Red Sox from 1939 to 1942. Then he had his break in service from the MLB when he was in during the war effort. And then he played with the Boston Red Sox again in 1946 through 1960. When he was a manager for baseball, he managed the Washington Senators from 1969 to 1971. And then his final year of managing, he was with the Texas Rangers in 1972. So there we have it, our second and final Hall of Famer for 1966, Ted Williams. So Casey Stengel and Ted Williams are our two inductees for this week. Give you a sneak peek for next week in our Hall of Fame induction, which will be the 1965 inductees, which will be a short induction because there was only one inductee for 1965, and that person is Pud Galvin with the Buffalo Bisons, and he was a pitcher. So we will get to learn about Pud Galvin with the Buffalo Bisons in 1965 for next week's Hall of Fame Friday. All right. So anybody else have any questions before we get into our part two of the stream, which will be our 2020 Tops opening day box number one, part two. Okay. So let's see. What do we got? Come on, Kevin. The battle has been joined. Robert, Robert's taking a nap on us. Hi, Robert. How much is it to send a package to you at Donald? I don't know how much it would be to send a package. you got to put it in an envelope and find out how much it weighs. And <laughs> Whenever you're ready there, NASCAR, I'm willing to accept it when you come and send it. Um, unless it's a very big package, if it's a big package, it could cost more. If it just weighs a couple ounces, it won't cost that much. It just varies. Because I want to send you a package f from me to you, Donald. Anytime you're ready there, NASCAR, the, my address is in the About Me tab 
on my channel, you can go to the About Me tab and you'll see the address where to send it to. Um, you've only been talking about this for quite some time now, but I'm glad you're back in the channels for a visit. Do appreciate you being here. I vote that Robert, that Robert Life likes his wrench. Everyone knows that Gwen was the best. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Left Behind Times. Left Behind Times is my favorite Seattle Mariners fan. He likes when I say Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Just making sure Left Behind's awake when he's in the stream today. Loose. 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 Anyhow, let me get ready to switch over to the second part of... There you go, Left, left Behind's got it in her. Seattle Mariners. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only saying that because I know you like that there, Left Behind. Let me refresh the stream here. And we will get ready for round two of our stream here. Let me set these two cards aside. We're done with those. Let me get um, these stands in place here. Let's see. I'm going to do... See if I can get them lined up fairly decent. So that, uh, we have them ready here. Let me uh, scooch this over just a little bit. I'm trying to make space for the box that I have to squeeze in here, which I think will work out pretty good here. Because you'll see the box off to the right here, or to the left. Okay. And we do have the two stacks in the back. That's where we are today. Actually, I think I had it like this, kind of. All right. So you can kind of see the, the two stacks in the back here. These were our hits from yesterday. This is just my stack of rookie cards here. Our rookie cards and gold cup cards. And then, of course, uh, you can't see it here. Let me show you the box real quick so you know what we're working out of here. These were pretty much the common cards. i got to just double-check and make sure there's not any short prints in there. And then these were the inserts and the hits that we did get yesterday. I will put uh, Bernie up here. Let me put Bernie up here. That's where I think I had him yesterday. That was our only hit, basically, from yesterday was getting Bernie Brewer autograph a Bernie Brewer autograph card and we will see if we get anything good in this next one here but I did get all of these top loaded and I did have I did we did get three Bernie Brewers we did get three Bernie Brewers but the one autograph here and then we did get some of the mascots here two mooses there we got one two three four four of the short print ones with the dates on them you can see the March 26, 2020 was when the original. We got Aaron Judge and Javier Baez sticker cards. We got the Mike Trout, George Brett, another Mike Trout, uh, a Frank Thomas, two Frank Thomases, a George Brett. Then we got the Team Traditions. And then we got all, the ball, all these ball clubs or the stadium cards. So I am going to just set these off to the side here for now. As we get ready to grip and rip as we go through here. Okay. And we'll see what we can find in the, the last half of the box here. Okay. So you can kind of see the stacks in here. We got 12 packs. We opened 12 packs yesterday. We're going to open up the other 12 packs here today. And see what we can find. He wants to be heard. He is shy like me. <laughs> All right. Uh. That's the founder of the USPS speaking, Donald. I'm not that old. <laughs> that means I'd have to be around during the days of Ben Franklin, since Ben Franklin is the one that started the United States Postal Service, in case you wanted me to add that into my postal history. Uh, NASCAR, what are you sending, Don Donald? Uh, Cardinals fan 19, I like... Uh, 
the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, I, I would, that makes sense. Cardinals fan, why do you yell in your chats? Yeah, all capital letters is, is screaming. You're trying to get your point across there, right, Cardinals fan? But lowercase would be much better. Um, he wants to be heard. He's shy like me. Laugh out loud. Robert, when Donald ran the Pony Express, his horse's name was Cow, Cow Griffey. Cow Griffey. <laughs> All right there, Robert. You be nice, okay? Or I might have to take your birthday away. All right. Let me go ahead and refresh the chat here as we get ready to start gripping and ripping. Okay. We're going to start out with pack number one out of these last 12 packs and see if we can get another good hit. All right. Or at least maybe like a relic or autograph or something like, well, a better autograph. Not that I don't like that one. I heard that one could be between $15 to $25 for that Bernie. There's only seven of the mascots that do have autographs on them, but I'm assuming that they are short print runs and that there's not many autographs available. But I could not find the stats on how many were available. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, can you please send me an email instead? Because. Because. Uh, my phone has been acting stupid lately. Well, uh, NASCAR, you can send me an email. How's that sound? It's in my About Me tab. Okay, or if somebody wants to, um, I'm not going to email you. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and show this in case somebody wants to email you there, NASCAR, okay? But um, here, my, my email address is easy, okay? Let me type it in here for you. And if you really do want me to reach out to you, you need to email me first. Okay, it's just easy. It's donaldblomdahl at gmail.com. There you go there, NASCAR. That's my email. And you are more than welcome to email me if you want me to reach back out to you. Okay? But it's it, everything people need to get in touch with me is in my About Me tab. And I'm sure you don't... You should, you should be able to have access to a computer somewhere in time. All right, but let's continue on with what we got to go here, okay? So we'll see who we get here next as we continue going through this box. Okay, let me readjust this real quick. All right, here we go. So we got uh, David Dahl with the Rockies. Um, Aaron Nola with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, J.D. Davis with the Mets. There we go. Uh, Pete Alonzo. Gold Cup card. Uh, Michael Baez with the Padres. Rookie card. Uh, Sandy. Sandy Alcantara with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Randall Grichik with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Jameson Italian with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Sean Doolittle with the Nationals. Dan Vogelback. Dan Vogelback with the Seattle Mariners. And there we go. We've got the uh, Washington Nationals uh, stadium card. Then we've got the uh, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers sticker card. Then we've got Slider with the Cleveland Indians. Cleveland Indians Slider there. Here, let me set Bernie Brewers over here because the mascots go over this side. Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez with the Seattle Mariners. All right, Buster Posey with the Giants. Elvis Andrus with the Rangers. Seems like I'm crowded in for some way. Maybe I set it up slightly differently today. 
Whoa, three Seattle Mariners in one pack. Domingo Santana with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Carter Keyboom with the Washington Nationals. Um, Whit Merrifield with the Kansas City Royals. Um, Nick Solak with the Texas Rangers. Okay, uh, Mike Mustakas with the Milwaukee Brewers. Ozzy Alves with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, DJ LeMahieu with the New York Yankees. And Wilson Contreras with the Chicago Cubs. Rounds out our first pack out of 12. All right, let me look in the chat here real quick before we get to the next pack. Uh, Cardinals fan says, my birthday was... A uh, da, 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 da. Uh, my birth birth birthday last mouth. Uh, why are you doing all caps there, Cardinals man? Because my phone has been acting stupid lately. Okay, da, 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 da. there, Robert. Be nice. What about teachers, Pat Kevin? <laughs> uh, laugh out loud, Robert. You got credit for my joke. Good one. Uh, my my birthday last month. Again, you don't need to do all caps there, Cardinals fan. All right, buddy? Um, uh, April 12th, 1990. Uh, Cardinals fan, again, please stop yelling all caps. There we go. I think he got it fixed now. Uh, April 12th, 1990. Okay. Now 30 years old. Oh, that's cool. You turned 30. That's awesome there, Cardinals fan. And Michael Heath, hello to all. Thanks for popping into the stream there. Michael Heath, appreciate you being here with us. Um, do a refresh here and get into our next pack here. All right, pack number two in the top opening day, uh, box one, part two. Again, for those that weren't here yesterday, I did part one yesterday where I opened the first half of the box. And the only reason I did slow down and take a little break was because I only had like about three people in the stream. There we go. D. Gordon. D. Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. Joey Lucchesi with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Card Collecting. All right. Boom. Back to back. San Diego Padres. Eric Hosmer. Then we got uh, Garrett Cole with the New York Yankees. Um, Mookie Betts with the Red Sox. Uh, just so long as that's all you're killing today. Not a problem. Killing time before I take the dog to the vet. <laughs> all right. Aristides Aquino, rookie card. Uh, Nico Goodrum with the Detroit Tigers. There we go. Your Jordan Alvarez, Gold Cup card and rookie card. Cool card there. Then we got Joey Votto with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Chris Paddock with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's Card Collecting. Uh, Aaron Judge with the New York Yankees. And there we go. We got one of our foil cards, our short, our our error cards. Christian Yelich with the Milwaukee Brewers. Christian Yelich with the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay. Then we've got a New York Yankee Stadium stadium card. And then our third subset card. Usually you get about three per pack is the Oakland Athletics opening day card from their stadium. And then we got a sticker card for Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts. All right. Next we have Gregory Polanco with the Pirates. Then we've got uh, Victor Robles, Gold Cup card. Um, Scott Kingery, all right, with the Philadelphia Phillies. Kyle Seeger with the Seattle Mariners. 
and we've got Eduardo Escobar. I can't see that. I, I can't say it the way Kevin does it. He could probably put it in the chat. With his Arizona Diamondbacks. <laughs> All right. And then we've got, uh, got too much in the chat here. Mike Fears with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Brad Hand with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Friend Mel Reyes with the Cleveland Indians. And Charlie Blackman with the Colorado Rockies. Rounds out our pack there for pack number two. Okay, hello, Michael. Michael, he's not a problem killing time before to take the dog to the vet. Uh, let's see. Just so long as it uh, got rained out and now the sun is out. Oh, bad joke, Kevin. Maybe the dog just might need might just need an updating of his shots. <laughs> Her, this is the check up that she's getting fixed. Oh, <laughs> Fogo Power de la Pique. Uh, there we go. That's the one that Kevin usually says. He says it much better than me. <laughs> Especially when it's in his stream. He says it much, much better. Okay. So let's move on to the next pack in the stack and the second part of the box here. All right. All right I don't know if I show it. I'll go like this. That way you know there's no more cards in the pack. <laughs> that I'm not holding out on anything. All right. So Brian Braun with the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, Keston Hero with the Milwaukee Braves. Or the Milwaukee Brewers. Sorry about that. I don't know why I said Braves. Gold Cup card. There's Kenta Maeda with the Dodgers. Looks like we got another shiny card in there. Uh, Albert Pujols with the Angels. Uh, Jock Peterson with the Dodgers. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez with the Red Sox. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. with the Braves. Dansby Swanson with the Braves. Uh, Trey Turner with the Nationals. Carlos Santana with the Indians. There we go. Our second one, Oscar Mercado with the Cleveland Indians. Error card. All right. Uh, then we've got opening day for the Cincinnati Red Stadium card. And then Kansas City Royals opening day stadium card. Boom. We got slider again with the Indians. He'll go behind the first slider we got. So two sliders today. All right, and then George Springer with the Houston Astros. Um, Dustin May, rookie card with the Dodgers. Uh, Sonny Gray with the Reds. Gavin Biggio with the, the Blue Jays. Cal Schwarberger with the Cubs. Uh, Craig Kimbrell with the Chicago Cubs. Michael Conforto with the New York Mets. Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Uh, Josh Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And last but not least, Marcus Stroman with the New York Mets. All right, pop in the chat between packs. Straighten up my rookie card stack here. All right, I like, I like, I like to Aaron Judge, big fan. Uh, Michael Heath, those look to be fat packs. Yeah, it's a uh, opening day. Uh, I don't know if you call it a jumbo box or a big large box, but yeah, this twenty, it's a uh, twenty-four packs with twenty-four cards per pack. So they are fat packs, that's for sure. Yes, not my greatest joke, Robert. Hope the dog is fine. Uh, she is fine, Kevin. Kevin, what does it mean in English? Just curious. Uh, left behind, I'll explain in a few chats. 10-4. <laughs> <Ten> <laughs> All 
All right, so let's get moving. Let me refresh the chat so I know where I left off and get into pack number four. Okay. Don't worry, I always feel the top of the pack before uh, I do snip it to know if there's a card there or not so I don't damage it. I'd hate to damage it if I found the, the card I'm looking for. That's for sure. All right. So, uh, Brian Anderson with the uh, Marlins. Uh, Jose Altuve with the Astros. Uh, Alex Verdugo with the Dodgers. There we go. A.J. Puck with the Oakland Athletics. Rookie card. Miguel Cabrera with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Tommy Edmond with the St. Louis Cardinals. Lourdes Guriel Jr., with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Christian Yelch, Yelich with the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, Jack Flaherty with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers. Sorry if I'm cutting off the cards. I wasn't paying attention. Um, Abraham Toro with the Astros. There we go, our first insert card in the pack. Uh, Philadelphia Phillies, opening day stadium card. San Diego Padres, opening day stadium card. And then, who do we got here? The Rangers captain. All right, mascot card, the Rangers captain. Put him in the back here. Uh, Starlin Castro, Starlin Castro. With the Miami Marlins, uh, Michael Brantley with the Astros, Gary Sanchez with the New York Yankees. There we go, Albert or Adbert Alzole with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. Uh, Tommy Pham with the San Diego Padres, uh, Evan Longoria with the Giants, uh, Lance Lynn with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Austin Riley with the Atlanta Braves. And then uh, Brandon Lowe with the Tampa Bay Rays. And last card in the pack, Luke Voigt with the New York Yankees. All right. So let's see, who do we got? Uh... Escobar's favorite restaurant in Phoenix is Fogo de, Cha de Chao. So when asked how he hits the bars, the ball so far, he says it's Fogo power. Our <laughs> code seven, gotta take lunch. All right, there, Robert. We'll see you later. All right. Uh, oh, okay, laugh out loud. That's funny. Escobar seems like a great guy. It's of charisma. Would like to see him in Braves uniform one day. Lots of charisma. He is from uh, a small town in Venezuela called La Pica. Uh, the means from. And in many interviews, he's been quoted saying, Fogo power de la pica. Gotcha. Thanks for that. Robert typed something else and retracted it. Jack Flaherty and Tommy Edmond are... Uh, my team, St. Louis Cardinals. There we go. All right. Thanks, Sarah Cardinals fan. Um, let me refresh the chat here and get into the next pack in the stack. And I, just, I know I've just always cut them open and stuff, but you can say, see here, more value, 24 total cards in these packs. Look for autograph and relic cards. So, so far, we only got the one autograph from Bernie Brewer out of this box. So, just trying to see if we can get another hit in the box. You never can tell what you may or may not get, that's for sure. So, here we go. Kyle Lewis rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. All right. And then we got uh, Carlos Correa with the Astros. Uh, Brendan McKay, rookie card for the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, 
Tim Anderson with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Gleyber Torres with the New York Yankees. Uh, Jeff McNeil with the New York Mets. Uh, Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. Bo Bichette. There we go. The Bo Bichette. Rookie card. You say Kakuchi. Second year card. Uh, J.D. Martinez with the Red Sox. Uh, Max Muncy with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now we've got our insert cards coming up here. We've got uh, opening day for the Los Angeles Dodgers Stadium. Then we've got a Team Traditions and Celebrations card. Jackie Robinson statue outside of Los Angeles, Los Angeles Dodgers Stadium. Boom! We got our first Spring is Sprung card for this uh, this part. Roberto Clemente with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Put him right here. Roberto Clemente. And then next we've got here Hanser Alberto with the Orioles. Um, Patrick Corbin with the Nationals. Um, Alex Bregman with the Astros. Tyler Glasnow with the Tampa Bay Rays. Matthew Boyd with the Tigers. Uh, Kirby Yates with the Padres. Um, Andres Munoz with the San Diego Padres. Rookie card. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. Luis Arreyes with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Charlie Morton with the Tampa Bay Rays. And Eddie Rosario with the Minnesota Twins. Rounds out that pack there. All right, pop in the chat quick. Left behind. Uh, sometime check out this video. Boom. Um, so this has been a heavy Seattle Mariners day. Puts a smile on my heart. <laughs> Seattle Mariners. Uh, Will Duke have a Ethan H. How you doing there, Ethan? Thanks for popping in the chat. Yadier Molina. St. Louis Cardinals too. Boom. Astros. Cardinals fan, how could you not mention Paul Goldschmidt? Paul Goldschmidt. Two Padres in a row. Shout out, Kev. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to pack number six here. Ooh, was this pack and the next pack were kind of stuck together there. As compared to our single packs. Yeah, the single packs that they have out there are only seven cards per pack. So. Okay, this one's got another uh, more, uh, security tag card in there. Has another security tag card. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just put the security tag in a separate spot here to use that as a marker card down the road. Okay, I don't see too much fancy in here. Raphael Devers with the Red Sox. Um, Trevor Story with the Colorado Rockies. Um, Mike Soroka with the Atlanta Braves. Gold Cup card. Uh, Max Scherzer with the Nationals. Try and get these centered on the screen there. Gavin Lux, rookie card. Gavin Lux rookie card. Fernando Tatis Jr. Gold Cup card for the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. Uh, Rice Hoskins with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Starling Marte with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jorge Soler with the Royals. Aradolis Chapman with the New York Yankees. And now we have some of our insert cards. Uh, opening day, Seattle Mariners at T-Mobile Park. Okay. Then we've got the Judges Court All Rise Team Traditions and Celebrations card. Boom! There we go. Spring has sprung. Fernando Tatis Jr. Spring has sprung. There we go. Another shout out to Kevin. Zach Gallon with the Arizona Diamondbacks rookie card. Right, let's continue on here. Zach Grinky with the Houston Astros. All right, 
And then we've got uh, Juan Soto with the Washington Nationals. Uh, Mike Trout with the Angels. Uh, Matt Carpenter with the Cardinals. Uh, Chris Bryant with the Cubs. Uh, Ian Kennedy with the Kansas City Royals. Um, Trent Grisham with the Padres rookie card. Shout out to Kevin's Car Collecting. Mike Clevenger with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Nick Senzel with the Cincinnati Reds. And Yohan Mankato with the Chicago White Sox rounds out the pack. All right, just real quick here. Let me make an adjustment here in the box. And I'm going to move these guys over here so I can make a spot in the box for... Ah, this third stack here and this way we will be three quarters of the way through the box now with again still only the one hit Bernie Brewer from yesterday so let me put this stack in the box here okay now we've got six packs to go as we continue to move through this box here. Zach Gallon, Donald's home run champion. That's <laughs> Zach Gallon. All right. I remember that video there, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin always liked that. We were doing the search to see how many, how many of the key four rookies for this year, and I think Zach, Zach Gallon actually won, but he wasn't in the top four. Although he did win that home run championship, by default, I allowed it with Kevin in the chat. Orlando Arcia with the Milwaukee Brewers. All right. We got Max Reed with the Atlanta Braves. All right, turn the cards back over here. That was the first time we had two horizontal cards in the first two cards. Ahmed Rosario with the Mets. Um, Kelly, or Merrill Kelly with the Diamondbacks. Kevin's card collecting and more. Um, Gene Segura with the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, look at that. More horizontal cards in this pack. Um, Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> All right. And then Eugen Eug Eugenio Suarez with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Anthony Rendon with the Angels. Uh, Br Brian Reynolds with the San Diego Padres Gold Cup card. Uh, Adalberto Mondese with the Kansas City Royals. And this ceases to amaze me that they actually count this as one of your cards. I did verify that, and it's because it this card actually appears on the checklist as a no-number card for the set. Can you believe that? They actually count this as a baseball card in the box here. I just put them all on the side here. I think I've got quite a few of them already now. I guess you can say they're not a super common card, but I do have plenty of them, that's for sure. So the Minnesota Twins opening day baseball park. And then we have the Team Traditions and Celebrations Crown Vision at Kansas City Stadium. Boom, there we go. Another Roberto Clemente Spring Has Sprung card. Okay, back to the re regular cards in the pack. Jorge Alfaro with the Miami Marlins. Um, Nelson Cruz with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Dakota Hudson with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Matt Chapman with the Athletics. Uh, Jose Ramirez with the Cleveland Indians. 
Justin Verlander with the Astros. Uh, Yadier Molina with the Cardinals. Mitch Garver with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Zach Plesak with the Cleveland Indians. And James Paxton with the New York Yankees. Rounds out that pack. Five more packs to go. Fogo Power, I'm back with a to-go order from Fogo, Fogo Di Chao. <laughs> Fogo Di Chao. All right. <laughs> Very interesting there. Oh, there. oh, there it goes. It fell right out, the security card. I gotta move these cards. It's filling up my little holdout here. Get so many of these security card, security tag cards. Hmm. Well, this is a different looking pack. I don't see the the insert in the center there. Uh, Anthony Rizzo with the Chicago Cubs. Or at least they don't jump out as much. Uh, Liam Hendricks with the Athletics. Uh, Yuri Gurriel with the Houston Astros. Shohei Otani with the Angels. Uh, Sean Murphy with the Oakland Athletics rookie card. Uh, Freddie Freeman with the Braves. Uh, Dominic Smith with the New York Mets. Um, Christian Walker with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. Uh, Hunter Renfro with the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, there we go. John Means with the Baltimore Orioles Gold Cup card. All right. We've got our uh, Milwaukee Brewers opening day stadium card. Then we've got the, the Juan Soto. Juan Soto sticker card preview. All right. We've got a blooper. With the Atlanta Braves, get tongue tied here. With the Atlanta Braves blooper uh, mascot card, put blooper in the back of the 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 error cards here. Manny Machado with the San Diego Padres. Sorry, uh, Trey Mancini with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Francisco Lindor with the Cleveland Indians. There we go, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with the Toronto Blue Jays Blue uh, Gold Cup card. Uh, Jonathan Villar with the Baltimore Orioles. Um, Luis Castillo with the Cincinnati Reds. Man, I'm getting way off center on these, probably because I'm holding them too close or something. Uh, Oscar Mercado with the Indians. Lucas Giolito with the Chicago White Sox. Eloy Jimenez with the Chicago White Sox Gold Cup card. Um, Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers. And last but not least, Emilio Pagan with the Tampa Bay Rays. All right. We have got four more packs to go. Getting close to the end. Let me pop in the chat here real quick. See what I've been missing. Um, bum, 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 bum. Wow. A lot of chatting going on here. Uh, da, 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 da. Cardinals fan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two Padres in a row. Shout out Kevin. Oh, maybe I forgot to do a refresh. Zach Gallon, Donald. Oh yeah. Okay, I forgot to do a refresh last time. I was thinking. Wait a minute. I'm seeing some of these ones I already read. Uh, left behind. It's addictive. Yo, Robert Owen. Uh, roll. Let's see, a boom slang. Oh, okay, boom slang's in the house. How you doing there, boom slang? Nice to see you popping into the stream. Uh, rolls of the tongue nicely. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yep, boom slang is in the house. I am in the house for Huber's trick shots. How you doing there, Huber? Thanks for popping into the stream here, buddy. Appreciate you being here. All right, let me move into it again. Four packs left to go in the box. Let's see if we can get another hit in this box. It might not be. Maybe blooper. 
Burn or not blooper <laughs> bloopers had two bloopers over here. Bernie Brewer was from yesterday. That was our only hit of the day yesterday in this box. So today is part two of the box. How do you get a mascot auto? It was it was in one of these packs there, Huber. It was in one of the packs, but they are not easy to find. So I actually finally found my first out of all the opening day products I've opened. My first uh, mascot autograph. All right. Cattell Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right. Uh, Ken Giles with the Blue Jays. Uh, Bryce Harper with the Phillies. Uh, trying to get my there. There we go. Paul Goldschmidt. There's a goldie there, Kevin, with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Andrew Benatendi with the Boston Red Sox. Shout out to Ethan Zelvis covers and more. Um, there we go. Kenley Jansen with the Dodgers. Uh, Shane Bieber with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Ramon Lariano with the Athletics. Uh, Tommy Lestella. Say this five times fast. Ber <laughs> Bernie Brewer battles Braves blooper. Uh, I'm not even going to try that one. Somebody else can try it. <laughs> Tommy Lestella with the California Angels. Uh, Nico Horner with the Chicago Cubs rookie card. Uh, yes, Monty Grandal with the White Sox. Then we've got our stadium cards here. We've got the Miami Marlins stadium card subset. We've got the Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies sticker card. There we go. We got another Braves bloop, blooper. Bloop, 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 blooper. <laughs> A brave Atlanta Braves blooper mascot card. Put them, put him behind there with the error cards. Um, Jordan Yamamoto rookie card. Um, Jose Berrios with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Gigan Carlos Stanton with the Yankees. Oh, sorry, getting them off center here. Sometimes when there's too much in the chat, I can't read the cards. Um, Matt. Olsen with the Oakland Athletics. Um, there we go. Will Smith with the Dodgers Gold Cup card. Uh, Marcus Simeon with the Athletics. Uh, Justin Turner with the Dodgers. Uh, Jesus Lazardo with the Athletics. Uh, Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies. And last but not least, Mike Yastrzemski with the Giants. All right, three more packs to go here. I think I did a refresh last time. Yeah, okay. Uh, shout out to the Cardinals fan again. Uh, shout out Cardinals fan. I, I don't necessarily shout out all the people there, Cardinals fan 1990, but I do. Once I get used to you, um, I do shout out some of the uh, teams uh, channel PCs okay so don't feel slighted if I don't call out the Cardinals all the time I do mention Paul Goldie of course uh, Kevin's card collecting is a Goldschmidt collector um, got your letter Huber oh there you go hey Huber um, of course this is Boomslang again say this five times Bernie Brewer battles brave blooper 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 Bernie Brewer battles Braves blooper. There, I said it five times, I think. <laughs> Boom sling. Uh, I don't even get the second one out clearly. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Kevin's card collecting. Are you opening it tonight, Huber? Can you give Robert your email? Uh, yes, Huber. Huber, can you give Robert your email? Oh, okay, I think R Robert is looking for your email. Boom slang. Not, fa not fast enough. Faster. Oh, well, I'll let you do that, Boom slang. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did it as fast as I was going to comfortably do it. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. Oh boy, that that it would come out funny then. Trust me, not fast enough, faster. <laughs> All right, we've got three more packs left in the box, and then we'll be getting ready to wrap things up here. So let's see if we can still try and get one more hit out of this box before I run out of packs. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything earth shattering in this one, but we'll see what we can find. Brandon Woodruff. Okay, with the Brewers. Um, Josh Hader with the Brewers. Um, Masahiro Tanaka with the New York Yankees. Um, David Dahl with the Colorado Rockies. Um, Aaron Knoll with the Phillies. Uh, John Lester with the Cubs. Uh, Max Kepler with the Twins. Uh, Paul DeJong with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Sandy Alcantara with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Grandal Gritchett with the Toronto Blue Jays. There we go. Some more stadium. There's the Tampa Bay Rays opening day stadium card. And then we've got the Texas Rangers opening day stadium card. Okay. Then we've got uh, Captain Rangers again. I think this is our second Captain Rangers in this half of the box. Jorge Polanco with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Garrett Cooper with the Miami Marlins. Uh, Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. Uh, Corey Seager with the Dodgers. That's uh, Kyle Seager's brother. Kyle plays for the Seattle Mariners. JT Realmuto with the Phillies. Omar Narvaez with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> uh, Michael Chavez with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Javier Baez with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Austin Meadows with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Whit Merrifield with the Kansas City Royals. And our last card in the pack is Nick Solak with the Texas Rangers rookie card. So there we have it. We've got two more packs to go. Let me pop in the chat. Kevin, can you just email Robert my address? Um, uh, I did it and bit my tongue. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. Oh, how, how boom slang. Cardinals fan, I, I like all sport. Uh, Kevin's card collecting and more. Can you just email Robert my address? Um, and then Boom Slang says, shout out to Donald Blomdahl. <laughs> shout out to Donald Blomdahl. All right. So let's get rolling here. We've got two more packs in this box here. Uh, USPS founder beats Braves Bloomer after Bloomer beats Bernie Brewer. <laughs> All right. Thanks there, Robert. All right, so we are down to our last two packs. So if we don't get nothing here, it'll be the last pack mojo maybe, huh? Might come down to the wire at last pack mojo. Okay. So let's see. I don't see any thick card in there. Don't see any thick card, that's for sure. And no security tag. Hmm. Okay. Don't see anything too special in there. So, J.D. Davis with the New York Mets. Um, Pete Alonzo, Gold Cup card for the Mets. Um, Michael Baez with the San Diego Padres. Um, Ryan Braun with the Milwaukee Brewers. There's a uh, Keston Hero, Gold Cup card for the Brewers. Uh, Jameson Talion with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Looks like we got a shiny card here. At least those aren't letting me down. I think I've got 
two or three so far. Sean Doolittle with the Washington Nationals. Um, Daniel Vogelback with the Seattle Mariners. Bogey power. Okay, and then we've got uh, Eduardo Rodriguez with the Boston Red Sox. Then we've got Ronald Acuna Jr. with the Atlanta Braves. And we've got an error card. Luis Castillo with the Cincinnati Reds is our rainbow foil card, error card. Then we've got our opening day for the Toronto Blue Jays Stadium card. Then we've got our Boba Shet, our Boba Shet rookie card sticker preview card. And there we go. We've got Mrs. Met with the New York Mets. All right. And then we've got Buster Posey with the San Francisco Giants. We've got Elvis Andrus with the Texas Rangers. Domingo Santana with the Seattle Maricard. Seattle Mariners. <laughs> I was reading I was reading Huber's chat here, error card, and <laughs> Said Domingo Santana with the Seattle error. <laughs> That's what happens when you read the chat and are reading a card at the same time. Domingo Santana with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Thanks, Huber. <laughs> and then uh, Carter Keyboom with the Washington Nationals. Uh, George Springer with the Houston Astros. Uh, Mike Mustakas with the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Ozzy Albies with the Atlanta Braves, uh, DJ LeMahieu with the New York Yankees, and Wilson Contreras with the Chicago Cubs, and lastly, Michael Conforto with the New York Mets. So we've got one more pack to go, so we can hope for last pack magic or last pack mojo here. Last pack in the box. Let me scooch that over a little bit. Got to make room for this last fourth and final stack. This will be our last pack mojo here. Last chance to try and get a big hit out of the box. Usually I'd probably only expect one. It would be nice to get two, but you never, never do know. I don't see anything thick in here. So let's see, do we got a no security tag on the back? Nothing left in the pack. So let's, ooh, wait. Nope, I thought maybe that was a thick card, but it's just it's just the paper cards in the center. The inserts, most usually the inserts are like paper type cards. Okay, so Kenta Maeda with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Albert Pujols with the Angels. Uh, Jock Peterson with the Dodgers. Uh, Kyle Lewis, rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. Hopefully we get to see some baseball coming up here. Uh, I think mid-June is when they're doing spring training part two. Carlos Correa with the Houston Astros. Uh, Brandon McKay with the Tampa Bay Rays rookie card. Um, Dansby Swanson with the Braves. Uh, Trey Turner with the Nationals. Uh, Carlos Santana with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Jeff McNeil. With the New York Mets. Uh, Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. Then, of course, here's our insert cards in the center of the pack. Opening day with the Nationals. Um, oh, this is my favorite. My favorite team traditions and celebrations. Um, baseball bat chandelier. Seattle Mariners. Show you a little close-up of this one in case you haven't seen this one. You see all those baseball bats in there? Those are actual life-size baseball bats. And this thing is huge in the main entrance coming into the stadium. Huge. You look at that up in the ceiling, you're like, man, that thing better not fall down. People are going to get hurt. But no, it's, it's mounted up there pretty well. But that is a neat chandelier for sure. <laughs> I've actually seen that many of times in the stadium. But throw that back there with a 
team traditions, Fernando Tatis Jr. Spring has sprung card. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting. And I don't think we've got any big hits in here. So I guess we're just down to the regular last few cards. Dustin May, rookie card for the Dodgers. Uh, Sonny Gray with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Kevin Biggio with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Kyle Schwarberger with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Craig Kimbrell with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Uh, Josh Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Marco Stroman with the New York Mets. Uh, Kirby Yates with the San Diego Padres. And Andres Munoz with the San Diego Padres. So ended the box with two San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more. There you go. Bernie Brewers barely beat Braves blooper before Bobby broke Brandon's baseball bat. But Bobby borrowed Betty's braids before Brady bought Blake's bicycle. Oh, my word. What a tongue twister there to end this on there, Kevin. <laughs> Somebody want to read that really fast? <laughs> oh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. My word. Let me read it one more time, see if I can read it a little bit faster. Bernie Brewer barely beat Braves blooper before Bobby broke Brandon's baseball bat, but Bobby borrowed Betty's braids before Brady bought Blake's bicycle. So very, very good, Kevin. That's not a tongue twister there, Robert. <laughs> Just messing with you. <laughs> All right, left behind earlier said, off to work. I'll stop by later in Kevin's and Ethan's stream later. See ya later. Hashtag Fogo Power de la Pica Seattle Mariners. <laughs> See you later on, left behind. Uh, laugh out loud. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Robert emailed you Huber's email address. Okay. Uh, thanks, Kevin. By the way, great devotion today, Kevin. Uh, Huber's trick shots. Error card. Laugh out loud. Yeah, I know. I call those error cards. They're not officially error cards, but since opening day didn't happen yet, they're kind of like error cards. So, boom. Uh, so very good. Get that's exhausting. Laugh out loud. It's too hot to think. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, no other new hits. Just this was our big hit for the box. Bernie Brewer. All right. So that was our big hit in the box. We did get some uh, Spring Has Sprung cards. We got Fernando Tatis Jr., Oops. I just dropped a couple of sticker cards. We've got the uh, Beau Bichette, uh with the Blue Jays rookie card. We've got Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies sticker card. We've got Juan Soto with the Washington Nationals sticker card. We got uh, Mookie Betts with the Red Sox sticker card. And we've got Cody Bellinger with the Dodgers sticker card. And then we got uh, Roberto Clemente, Fernando Tatis. We got, so let's see, what did we get in the second half here? We got, uh, oh, that's pretty neat there. Two Fernando Tatis Jr. Spring Has Sprung cards and two Roberto Clemente uh, uh, stick, uh, Spring Has Sprung cards. So those will get added into uh, the collection there. Oh, sorry. And then let me go through and highlight our stadium cards. First, I'll do our, our team traditions and celebrations. Jackie Robinson statue. Um, Judges Court, All Rise. Uh, Crown Vision with the Kansas City Royals. And the Seattle Mariners bat shand shand chandelier. Okay. And then we have our, our uh, opening day stadium cards, Washington Nationals, Toronto Blue Jays, uh, Texas Rangers, Tampa Bay Rays, uh, Miami Marlins, Milwaukee Brewers, 
Minnesota Twins, uh, Seattle Mariners, Los Angeles Dodgers, San Diego Padres, Philadelphia Phillies, Kansas City, Cincinnati, I'm probably going around again, <laughs> Oakland Athletics, and the New York Yankees. All right, so we get, did get a bunch of stadium cards there. Now we will go through and highlight um, our error cards here. Let's see, what looks like we got three, only three. We got a lot more yesterday. But let's go through the, the mascot cards. We got a slider, another slider, uh, Rangers captain. We got a blooper. We got another blooper. We got another Rangers captain. And we got a Mrs. Met. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mascot cards. And then it looks like we got only three error cards. We got the Luis Castillo error card, the Oscar Mercado error card, and the Christian Yelich error card. All right, so that takes care of the error cards. And then this is for the whole box. All of our rookies, Gold Cup cards, and things of that nature. And then our common cards. So let me get this stack put up here in the box for the rest of our common cards. And I'll double check, make sure I didn't get any uh, short print cards in that, in that mix up. Usually some of the short print cards are easy to spot for the most part. But other than that, and then of course, I think we got more hits. I'll have to measure the stacks out here. So these were the insert cards from yesterday's stream. So let me just do this real quick. Uh, these, of course, are, are penny sleeved, so they do look make it look a little bit thinker, uh, thinker, thicker. So let me just kind of just rough them out here, put them all in the stack, and let's see, rough wise. Probably got similar to those. Probably when I put them in uh, penny sleeves, they probably will kind of match out. Yeah, I think so. Once I put them in penny sleeves, I probably got the same similar amount of inserts as I did in yesterday's. So these were all the rookies and gold cup card holders. Okay, these are the inserts we pulled today. That's the inserts we pulled yesterday, along with Bernie Brewer here. Can't forget Bernie Brewer here. Okay. So, on the date... Oh, <laughs> Boomslang, it says opening day was on March 26th, but opening day hasn't happened yet. Yeah, that, that's why I just do it do it that way there, uh, Boomslang. What's the errors on these cards? <laughs> I'm, it's not an official error card. I'm just calling it an error card because opening day never took place yet. I wonder if they'll come up with a new opening. Maybe they'll have, uh, maybe this will be uh, series one and they'll do a series two for opening day. That would be a first. They've never, ha they've never done two opening day products in a year, but that would be neat. Do you want to trade for that, that Bernie? Oh, I got plenty of Bernies here if you want. Not this one there, Hubert, sorry. Not not the auto. We'll see down the road. We never know. I don't think I would trade for it because if I, I looked on eBay and it looks like these sell for about $15 to $25 for the Bernie Brewer card. So I'm going to leave him right there for now. And I'm going to turn my camera around so you guys can see me real quick. As I say my signature goodbye for the day, I do got an hour and a half on the stream today, which was spent mostly on the opening product. But this is me. I'm still here. This is my t-shirt I wear for my Hall of Fame Fridays when I do the Hall of Fame inductees, Hall of Fame Mariners. And on the back of the shirt, it does list who the Hall of Fame Mariners are. But I like to wear this as my Hall of Fame uh, members. Uh, t-shirt from my Hall of Fame Friday streams and I do have a Hall of Fame hat on this is the Griffey and Piazza hat from when uh, Ken Griffey Jr. and Mike Piazza got inducted into the Hall of Fame the same year 
in 2016. So this is going to be me. And then you can see my ball caps hanging up. That's part of my wardrobe in my in my office here. You can see all my different ball caps that I do wear throughout. You can see a little gap in there. That's where this hat goes when I'm done for the stream. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off. This has been Donald Blondell, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles. Um, coming to you live, I'm just reading the comments real quick. I'll read through them real quick before we do sign off. But having been live to you from Arlington, Washington, hoping you have a great Friday and a good weekend coming up. And I will be having a live stream tomorrow. I don't know. I'm expecting some packages in today. I'm going to make one run to my uh, business address to see if I do got anything new this afternoon to add into the family mail call for tomorrow. But if not, I will come up with something to do for tomorrow. Okay? So other than that, I'm just going to sign off for now in a little bit after I read a few of these chats here. And we will see each other probably later today. Uh, I believe Kevin's going to be going live about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Is that what time you're going live, Kevin? About 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? All right, so even a blind hog finds an acorn once in a while. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, okay, I did up to the opening days. Date printed on the card. Uh, do you want to trade for the Bernie? No. Uh, okay, laugh out loud. Updated opening day set. That would be cool if they did an updated opening day set. Another new one with maybe different cards and different numbers. Of course, the opening day set they currently have is from 1 to 201. So they'd probably have to... Uh, oh, forgot to change the camera back around. Uh, is from 1 to... Okay, between 2.30 and 3 o'clock. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Um, but other than that... I can't think of anything else I got going on today. Um, so, okay, Boomslang. Okay, I'm off to the post office later, all. All right, thanks, Boomslang, for stopping in today. See you, Boomslang. Can I advertise myself? For, of course you can, Huber. But thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Go ahead and throw it in quick before people start jumping off. I got seven people in the stream. What time is your stream tonight? Um, oh, do you mean for, uh, let's see, I know Ethan's not here. I think Ethan's going live probably about four, um, oh, Huber, uh, Kevin already said it in there, uh, 2.30 to 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So that would be between 5.30 and 6 for you, Huber, Okay. So yeah, so it'll be Kevin's dreams next, and then uh, I think it's about 4 to 4.30 is for Ethan's uh, sale tonight, okay? So that would be, uh, well, 4 to 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. I think it's 7 to 7.30 um, Pacific Standard Time for you there, Huber, for Ethan's sale, okay? And that is late. <laughs> All right, so... Um, yeah, so Kevin's car collecting would be 5.30 uh, to 6 o'clock your time, Huber. Okay, so other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to end things here. I do have 12 noon here. It is lunchtime for me. Me and the wife are going to have some lunch, but I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Oh, I thought he meant a.m. No, p.m., p.m. <laughs> p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Kevin, see you in a few hours. Very good devotional today again. All right, so you guys take care, have a wonderful day, and we will see you guys tomorrow on my next live at 10, between 10 and 10.30, depending on what I end up doing tomorrow, okay? So you guys take care, have a wonderful day, and we will see you guys around the channel, okay? Bye now, and take care, everybody.